Hello guys, welcome to Chop Out Millionaire. I am happy to bring you another live interview with a team that you're already familiar with. Remember the lady in the video there on your right hand side, that is Inara. Inara, how are you doing? I'm good, so happy to be back. Good, good, happy to have you back. And we have somebody crashing in our party today. Who do we have on your side there? My name is Pritish. You can call me Preet. Preet or Pritish, all right? And just to let you know, he's a very pretty guy. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> yeah, if you forget how to pronounce his name, just remember pre British, British, British. Okay. And uh, that's a very Indian name, the Namaskar. Namaskar. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So we are here today to talk about a specific set of programs and what Passage has in place for people who are interested. For those who have not seen this team on my platform before, you are, you are, you are seeing for the first time passage all right passages and uh, tell us a little bit about passage briefly yeah yeah for sure so uh what we do is we provide access to life-changing opportunities in education and employment what does that mean that is super high level we are basically providing loans to international students to come study here in canada um, and get funded for some of our programs so right now there is a massive labor shortage in healthcare, trades, and STEM. So we give loans to international students to study those programs and be able to study here. We work with George Brown College. Um, it's one of the best colleges in Canada and we fund those programs and uh, we enable students to be able to get that funding and to uh, come study here. Beautiful. Um, let's talk about the first uh, video interview that we did. How, 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 how did it go? Um, the numbers, the applications. Uh, did you receive some really good leads there? Did you get some people getting excited with some uh, approvals here and there? Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, yeah it was amazing. Honestly, seeing uh, the amount of students and the demand that one video had generated was um, shocking, I think would be the word for all of us. And uh, it was just amazing to see how many students had applied so quickly within that hour and how far they are in the process. So a lot of the students are actually either doing their loan interviews um, or waiting on LOAs, for example, but they're pretty deep in that process. And we're so excited to hopefully get more students um, as well. Thank you. Congratulations to the many of you who have already received an approval for your loans to study at George Brown College through Passy. Thanks to our first uh, video. Um, now, let's talk about the specific programs that you like to talk about in this very video and why international students who are interested in studying them and are looking to also secure funding or loans to study should be looking at these programs. For sure. So as we know, it's August right now. September intake is just around the corner. So we'll be mostly focusing on fall intake. So students who want to apply for a program for this September. So right now we are still accepting applications um, for funding with a valid study permit. So for this program, we need students um, with a valid study permit for fall intake. If you apply for January, that's not the case but we're gonna just stick with fall intake right now. So for fall intake, there's five programs that we really want to share with all of you. There's dental office administration, there's hospitality services program, information systems business analysis, wireless networking, and cybersecurity. These are five programs that are awesome in their own ways. Um, there is a huge demand for them within careers, employment, immigration, and uh, these are the five programs that we want to go a little bit deeper on. So once again, for fall intake, we are still open for international students that are currently living in Canada with a valid study permit. So I'll pause here, but I do want to go a little bit deeper on what does that student look like? What does that student look like? And I don't know if British want to come in on that um, and, and then wade in a bit on that. Do you want to tell us something about the kind of students or the profile of students that you're looking for and how you guys are ready to help them to start as soon as this September? Sure, sure. Super excited to be here, first of all. Um, just want to reiterate something. Uh, for these set of programs, the students, if they're applying for September intake, they must have a valid study permit. 
And also note that, like Inara mentioned, George Brown College is one of the top public colleges. And all of these programs that we have selected on our platform, they're all PGWP eligible. So, so just wanted to clarify that. And also these programs that we highlighted, uh, they are all one year program. So if you are, uh, if you are someone who has completed one year program already, you want to do another one year program, uh, then these are the right set of programs for you. And also if you are uh, in Canada and you want to get enrolled uh, in September intake and you have not done any program at all, but want, want to get started, you can also opt into these programs. And um, in terms of the, the type of student that we're looking, of course, um, you need to have the study permit. But apart from that, uh, in terms of the credentials, uh, for uh, let's say for a program like dental office administration or hospitality services, they are diploma programs, right? So you would need uh, your WIAC and English and maths are compulsory. So for students from Ghana and Nigeria uh, who have WIAC, your English and maths would be between A1 to C6. And um, uh, we will share the link and it has, uh, we have crafted a helpful resource there. You can check out the details where we have listed what are the exact requirements you need. But for diploma programs like this, you would need English and maths. It should be between A1 to C6. And uh, for the other programs such as cybersecurity, wireless networking, uh, information systems business analysis program, they are all postgraduate programs. So you need uh, your bachelor's uh, degree. In, um, some of these programs require IT or computer science background. Uh, information systems business analysis program requires either computer science, IT, or a business background, uh, let's say commerce, accounting. And if you have one year work experience, you can apply for uh, this particular program. And for a program like wireless networking, your degree, your bachelor's degree could be in any field. Uh, you can still apply for that. And, uh, and it's, all, it's also a really good pathway for people from people in non-tech background who want to move into cybersecurity. So after wireless networking, you can go for cybersecurity uh, programs as well and build your career in that field. And those who have IT computer science background, and if you're interested in cybersecurity, you can uh, for sure apply for that as well. So just wanted to give a brief overview of what we're looking at. All right. Um, I'd like us to just touch on some of the aspects of the key requirements a bit more, just to make sure that people get this once and for all. So there are two specific kinds of students you are looking for who will be starting this September, which is there's a month away, the month of September 2024, all right? So guys, if you're watching this, this very video is promoting a certain number of programs. I will be mentioning the programs to you one by one. And the intake is September, meaning you ought to be planning to start school this September. Now, Passage is also interested specifically for these programs, not all the all the other programs on your website, just for these specific programs. Passage is looking for those who already have a study permit and are looking for maybe a second program. Maybe you just completed your 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 current studies and then you want to move on to another program and you want to uh, take one of these courses here. So those are the kind of students that uh, Passage is looking for. Now the second category of uh, students that passage is looking for are those who have secured their study permit maybe are yet to start and or, or, or are looking to just make a switch all right did i get that right guys yes yeah yes. beautiful beautiful Let's... now if you fit into this profile of students you are good to go now i want us to you talked about the academic requirements uh for eligibility for the loan and then you mentioned nigeria and ghana which is where most of my followers are from i have people from different parts of the world but uh, these two countries are where I have a lot of people coming from. Um, you mentioned that for English and math, they need to have an A1 to C6 for their secondary school education. That would be YEC, correct? Yes. Good. English and math, you need to have a C6, at least worst case scenario, a C6. All right. Now, and, Neko as well. and, and I'm sorry? And NECO as well, NECO. NECO, I was going to talk about that. Thanks for mentioning that. So NECO is the private examination version of WIAC in Nigeria. In Ghana, that is NOVDEC. So would that be the same for Ghana as well, NOVDEC for Ghana? No, it, 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 it has to be WIAC. It has to be WIAC. Yeah. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Now, for somebody who has already done a one-year studies or a study in Canada, 
and is looking to go into a second year program, would they still need to prove uh, that they have A1 to 6 is back home since you already have a Canadian education and a diploma? Yeah, they still need to prove that um, because different colleges have different kind of requirements. So even if they have studied here uh, in a particular program or they might have secured admission for a particular college, they still need to prove that uh, in their secondary education in Y, they got uh, A1 to C6 in English and Maths. So that's, uh, that's, the, man that's the mandatory requirement. All right. Thank you. Now, uh, I the link to apply has been provided in the description box of my video. So please don't be in a rush. I also want to encourage you, do not go directly to the website of George Brown College to apply from there. If you apply directly from George Brown College's website, you will not be eligible for the loan. The loan application comes with the, uh, 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 the study permit, sorry, the letter of acceptance as well for your course, and it has to come through Passage. Passage has a unique link for you to use to apply. That link is available in the description box of this very video. If you have not seen it, please don't be in a rush. When I finish, I'm going to make sure I link it in the description box. You can only apply. If you want to be considered for the loan, you can only apply using this specific link. I repeat, using this specific link. I've seen a number of you who went straight to George Brown's website, put in an application, paid the application fee of 100 and whatever, $10, and then you were hoping that passage you'll be able to give it the loan. It doesn't work that way. If you applied straight to George Brown, you could get the admission, but you will not be eligible for the loan. If you want to be considered for the loan, it has to be true passage using the link that I'm talking about. So this video is for those who are already in the country, have a valid study permit, or those who have secured the study permit already and want to make a change to George Brown, but want to use loan to apply. Now, um, I, I, I switch back to Inara. Inara, you can take it over as well uh, and continue. I, since we're in requirements, actually, I, we can go a little bit deeper. So for Nigeria and Ghana, Oh, sorry, for Nigeria, there is a study gap rule. So students have to have studied in the last five years. If you haven't studied in the last five years, unfortunately, um, you're not eligible. It's just part of the school rules. Um, let's say you studied high school 10 years ago, but you came to Canada and you studied last year. Because you studied last year, you are totally fine because that means you had professional education in the last five years yes so just to be clear uh, i've got a lot of questions that came after we did our first video what is a steady gap blah 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 and all of that steady gap does not include online courses only like your short courses your, courses, courses, your yeah. Coursera courses your your you know that, that's not what we're talking about a formal education uh that comes with a curriculum a structured curriculum right with assignments and stuff like that you are attending physical classes and all of that all right so that's what we're talking about here now, the, the, the year of your study gap will also reflect the year that you completed your previous studies. So when we are talking about a five-year study gap, it means that the last time you graduated from school ought to be within five years. It cannot be more than five years, all right? It, it, it has nothing to do with the, the fact. So if you started your program just now, you just started studying somewhere and you haven't completed, you haven't completed your studies, you ought to have completed the previous studies. I just want to be clear. Did I explain it right? Yeah. So just if I if I was you, for example, as a student, just think, when did I finish school last? If it's in the last five years, you're eligible. And this is specifically for Nigeria. So it's yes, Nigeria, it's India, Pakistan. But I think with your audience, like if you're from Nigeria, then that is the rule there. Um, but yes, that that is correct. Okay. And, Nigeria, and India, Pakistan. OK, but for Ghana and other countries, there is no steady gap. Correct. Yes. There is no study gap for Ghana and other countries, except for Nigeria, India, Pakistan. Yes, exactly. Thank you. British, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to mention that if someone has a study permit, then they have already studied uh, for a year in Canada. By, by default, they're eligible because they do not have any gap. So sometimes students do not enter their latest education, and sometimes they get stuck because of that. So you need to enter your entire education history, including the one that you are currently pursuing or have completed in Canada. And with that, you will not get stuck during the application process. Mm. So Pritish brings yeah. up a good point also with study permit. How do we know if the study permit is eligible or not? 
So the study permit that we need all students who are applying for fall to have, it has to be in the recent six months. So it has to have issued in the last six months. If it's even earlier, let's say you got a study permit last year, that is fine, but there's something we need. We need your transcript from that Canadian school. So let's say I got a study permit last year. That is totally fine, but because it's more than six months, then I need to upload my transcript as well from the Canadian school and the enrollment letter. So this is usually your letter of acceptance um, if you don't have your transcript. So it's six months study permit. If it's earlier than six months, transcript and enrollment letter. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Can we talk about the uh, the specific courses one more time? Because when Pratish was talking about the courses and the eligibility requirement, he mentioned that some of the programs are actually postgraduate diplomas and may require a bachelor's degree for an eligibility criteria. So I want us to talk about the specific programs you are uh, promoting in this video. The first program I see on the list here is Dental Office Administration, where the program code S115 at George Brown's colleges. Um, now, this particular program here, what will be the uh, the minimum education requirement? Will it be high school or a, a, a bachelor's? It would be high school. High school. So you need your high school transcripts. Yeah. It's a program. We need uh, a high school transcript. Like I mentioned, why it should be uh, between A1 to C6 or NECO should be A1 to C6. Okay. Thank you. Then the next one, hospitality services program. Same, uh, it's also a diploma program. Uh, requirements are same as of dental office and program. All right. And then the next one I have here is information systems business analysis program. Yeah, so that's a postgraduate program. Uh, you need bachelors in commerce, business, accounting, or computer science or IT. Plus you need one year of relevant work experience for this particular program. Thank you. Wireless networking program. This is states that is actually a postgraduate diploma. So yeah. I guess you need a bachelor's with a one year work experience, correct? No, for this particular program, you need bachelor's, but one year work experience is not required. Okay. And you could be, you could have done your bachelor's in any kind of uh, specialization. It could okay. be in any kind of specialization. Okay. So a bachelor's in any kind of field. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Then cybersecurity is the last one. That's also a postgraduate program. And it requires computer science, IT uh, degree, bachelor's degree. Or if you do not have a degree in computer science or IT in your bachelor's, you need to have uh, relevant work experience in this field. So if you have cybersecurity experience, but you are not from IT or computer science background, you can still apply. All right. Thank you very much. So guys, these are the five programs that you want to be looking at if you want to start in september 2024 remember we are in august september is just about three four weeks away the assumption here is that you're already in canada you have a value study permit and you're looking to take this as a second program or another program that you want to go into or you have a study permit you're here to maybe start your school and you want to just make a switch then you can use this option to apply. Remember, Passage is also a loan company that is giving you financing to study in Canada, covering up 75% of the cost of your tuition and potentially your living expenses if you want that. Five programs we talked about. This is also not to say that these are the only programs that Passage is, from, uh, is, is offering fun, financing for, mm -hmm. but they are specifically encouraging those who want to start in September that, hey, they can really get you kickstart to, to, to kickstart your studies for September if you're coming in for this program, since the time is really short. Uh, towards the end, we might talk about the other semesters, like maybe January next year and other, but I want you to know if you want to start as soon as September and you have a study permit already, Passage is willing to work with you to get you to start as soon as possible. How soon can somebody get an admission or letter of acceptance from Passage, uh, from George Brown through Passage, if they apply to any of these five programs? Very soon. So yeah. you apply today, just because September is literally around the corner, um, you'll see an expedited process. So as long as you have the qualifications, apply today and um, it will be a very fast process. Awesome. 
Now, it's easier to watch videos and get stuck when you're doing your application. So I want us to make it a bit easy for people when they're applying. If I click on the link, which has been featured on Chaco Melonier's uh, uh, video and in the description box, it takes me straight to this very page here, all right? Mm -hmm. And then I get to see all the programs, the five programs that have been mentioned in this video. How do I go ahead to start the application? What do I do? So you click on the program uh, that yeah. you, so what you, program? You mind if I, you mind if I do it? Yes, no, so go for click it. On the Which program? program? So let's say I'm going for cyber security. Where are you? Cyber security right here. Yep. Amazing. Okay. Click on it. Guys, I'm clicking on that. And let's see what it says here. Perfect. All right. It will say apply now. Oh, I see it right here. It says apply now. And then it gives me two different intakes, fall and winter 2025, and then fall 2024. So I guess I'll have to select September 2024 yes. if I want to. Good, good, good. And then when I look down here, ready to apply, you are now eligible to apply for the program. Take the next step towards, and then there is an apply now button right here, guys, as you can see. So you click on the apply now. So let me just, so before clicking on the apply now, let me tell you what I see here. It says the program level is a graduate certificate. It's a one year program made up of three semesters. It starts in fall 2024. Uh, eligible for postgraduate work permit as well for those who have questions about whether this program is postgraduate. These programs are all postgraduate work permit eligible. The application fee to apply for the program, this is not a fee passage is charging you for the program specific application is 110 Canadian dollars. It's also listed right here. And then it goes on to give you the other two information that you need a lot. Estimated living cost for this program is 20,635. This is in line with IRCC's guidelines, new guidelines uh, published in 2024, uh, January 2024. Then there is also an estimated tuition for this very program, which is 27,000, all right? 27,000 for the tuition for this, that's estimated tuition. So if you are ready, you click on the apply now, and then let's see what happened when I click on that. So when I click on the apply now, it tells me to log in, and then I also see sign up underneath there. So if I don't have an account with Passage, I'll have to click on sign up. Yes. Yeah. If you already have an account with Passage and you've already created an account in the past, you click on the, the login option where it says put your email and your password and then you hit the login button there and then you go. If you are new and this is your first time, you definitely would like to hit the sign up and then it will ask you for your email address as you can see right here. And then you continue and all of that. So guys, that is how easy it is. When you click on the link in this video, make sure that you hit the uh, apply now button and then it will take you. Be before doing that, select the program of your choice and you get to go. In fact, when you click on the program of your choice, you get to see the estimated tuition. I like to just go back and do the same thing for another program to see how that one goes. Okay guys, so bear with me there one second. So let's say I'm not going for cyber security. I want to change my program to something else. So let me go for uh, hospitality services. So let's say dental office administration. I click on dental office uh, administration. Yeah. It's already checked to be on fall. It shows that it's been closed for winter 2025, which is January. Estimated tuition for this program is 17,000 Canadian dollars, 17,950 dollars. That is the estimated situation for this program and then the living cost again remains the same estimated living cost 20,635 all right so guys that is how easy it is to get yourself started um yeah Inara and Pratish I'd like to head back to you guys if you have anything to add yeah, so I love that you went through the entire process, but um, one thing, if you're not sure if you're eligible or not, uh, what you can do is go on the link that Chokor has, scroll down. In the FAQs, it says, what is the admission requirements to apply to these programs? And we actually made this just for you guys. Um, there's Ghana and Nigeria. It says, learn more about admission requirements. Click here and it will go very specific on what you need. So before even applying, definitely go through the FAQs. Make sure you're eligible. Uh, you have the grades, you have the Y, the NECO, the um, eligible study permit, everything. And uh, then definitely apply. But uh, that's a very helpful source if you want to see what the requirements are. We can't hear you. 
I think you're muted. Yeah, I'm muted. Sorry about that. Um, I thank you so much, Inara, for taking us through the FAQs as well. British is also here to support. Uh, for some reason, this broadcast is not appearing on my YouTube channel. I don't know why, but I will do my best to actually get this video on there. So as soon as you finish, make sure you also hop onto my YouTube, especially if you're having difficulty finding the link and all of that, all right? I can tell you, she doesn't need a loan for now. When she grows up, she'll probably reach out to Passage, okay? <laughs> We are ready. <laughs> so okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Now, I'd I like us to take some questions from people, okay? So let me go through some of the questions here. Uh, this is from Felix Ibrahim. Felix Ibrahim. Uh, hello, sir. I graduated from high, from high school, I guess. That's what he means there in Ghana in 2007 and university in 2012, but currently in Canada with student visa. Am I eligible for this program? I guess you are because you just said you are in Canada with a student visa, isn't it? So you are eligible and Ghana does not have a steady gap. So there are multiple ways to actually be eligible. Your, your, your studies, you already have a steady permit in Canada. So you are eligible to apply. Hit the link right there and start. Remember, you should only be using the passage link if you are looking to also get a loan from passage. If you don't need a loan, there is no point in registering passage. Passage are in the business so of you can um you if you want to apply without mm -hmm. the loan that is still possible so uh if you want the funding if you also just want the seat like to apply to george brown college uh that is totally fine too we mostly do loans but if you want to just have an expedited process uh to apply to that school with that program that is also totally fine oh, okay thanks for the clarification i really appreciate that okay uh is it only stem courses that are allowed for this Good question. Is the only STEM programs that are allowed for this? This is coming from Okechuku Obriibe. Obriibe is asking a question. Is this only uh, for STEM related program? I guess at the beginning, she mentioned that the high in demand jobs are in the areas of trades, they are in the healthcare and STEM. So if you really want to have a smooth transition in Canada, given how immigration trends are and the labor markets are, you really want to be going to STEM healthcare and trade. These are the areas that Canada has a massive need for, and you possibly will not be going wrong in the next few years if you study this with courses, all right? No, Good. So um, do you have something to add, Inara? Uh, just one thing for January intake. So we are open for January intake as well. When you go on our website, you'll notice that there are more programs than those five. But since September is just around the corner, we're prioritizing these five programs and September intake. So still feel free if you need to apply for January, apply. It just yeah. one to set expectations that it will take us longer to process because right now main priority is September. So September, you'll have faster processing. For January, feel free to apply um, and go ahead with the application process. Uh, just our support team will take a little bit longer in processing those applications. Thank you. That answers the question for Vida Deborah, who, who was asking, does Passage have uh, programs for January 2025? Yes. The answer is yes. But the video More. we are just making today is specifically for September intake, five courses, dental administration, cybersecurity, hospitality, and a few other courses. You can still go ahead and apply if you're looking for other intakes like January or September next year, just that they are prioritizing those who are starting as soon as possible to get them started. All right. Okay. Let's see who has a question. You have to, uh, this is from uh, Imadweke Obina Kevin. You have to deposit some money before you are being given a loan. That is correct. If you get approved, you will need to actually, one of the eligibility criteria is that you demonstrate that you actually have 25% of the amount you are seeking from passage for them to be able to approve you. So that is a cash collateral. We've talked extensively about that in our previous video so if you're seeking say twenty thousand, you need to demonstrate that you have 25 percent of the twenty thousand from there if you're seeking twenty seven thousand, you need to demonstrate that you have 20 uh, uh, five percent of that twenty seven thousand ready for passage to be able to approve so madweke you are right about that all right this is not a hundred percent loan it doesn't cover hundred percent of everything it covers a significant portion of your studies and your living expenses that's what you're looking for you want to ask something british or inara I think that's good. Um, and also just note that uh, whenever you are reaching out to the, our customer support team through the chat bubble or the WhatsApp link that we have on our website, um, please feel free to mention that you are reaching out after after watching this video from Shokur. 
So, and um, that will also help us prioritize certain queries um, and that way we can improve your experience as well. So just wanted to add that. And yeah, in terms of cash collateral, yes. So we would need 25% of the total loan amount as the cash collateral and you would be required to pay that only after you get the offer letter and you get uh, approval from passes credit and lending team and uh, after that only will be required to pay nothing before that all right thank you very much for emphasizing that those of you who will be reaching out to pass it directly via their support lines and email uh, their email address is support at passage.com if you reach out to them be sure to mention that you are coming here after watching the video from choco melonia so that they can prioritize you remember you are getting that vip treat because choco puts in a lot of effort to get you guys such opportunities there all right and uh yeah let's go to the next question here uh is it only restricted to george brown college this is from nana equia Bayao. you are right for now passage is working with george brown college in the near future when they have other institutions added they will let you know somebody is asking emmanuel or safo is asking north deck is from wayek please so just like the neko which is from wayek north deck is from wayek in ghana is that still something that you guys are looking at or i'm not sure if you are familiar with north deck but it's also administered by wayek it's like the private version of the wayek exams just like the neko it's equivalent of neko yeah so these requirements are set by the college um, so we stick to the requirements that the college had set and um based on the guidelines that we have received even the guidelines that is available publicly on the on the college website also um for nigeria ghana uh, for yeah for nigeria we need Y or neko for ghana um only the Y because there is no neko there. yeah all right thank you very much next question is from shedra kamua shedra kamua who is from ghana is asking choko what if you are outside of ghana um i guess the answer here is pretty obvious but let me just we've talked about this I, you may have gotten the answer already the programs that have been promoted in this video are five programs dental administration uh cyber security hospitality and then two other courses here all right these programs the starting date or the intake is september which is just next month now the reason why if you are from outside ghana or sorry canada and you don't already have a valid study permit you shouldn't be putting an application to start in september is that you're not going to have enough time to apply for your visa you're not going to get enough time. You need at least three months or so, close to three months, to process your student visa. This program is starting in September, which is just next month. You don't have enough time. That is why this program is ideal for anybody who already has a study permit and looking to switch schools, or anybody who has already secured a study permit, they just completed a, st a study in a different school, and they are looking to go into another program, all right? That said, if anybody wants to apply for any other intake or starting date, such as January 2025, September 2025 or whichever semester, you can still go ahead and apply into their other program for the other programs, but not the specific ones that are starting in September 2024. I hope that clarifies it for you. Uh, the next one is from John Brown. Steven, I'm from South Sudan. I have a bachelor degree in finance and banking with a GP of 3.6, second class upper. I also have a first class diploma in accounting and finance. I'm currently in Juba, South Sudan. When will you start accepting South Sudanese into the program? So uh, his question suggests that it looks like South Sudan is currently not part of the eligible countries. Uh, he's hoping that in the future this could happen. Do you want to respond to that? Yeah, for sure. So right now, the only countries that we don't work with are the ones where there are sanctions. We are working every day to make sure that we can make it accessible to every country in the world. Um, so if you did see Sudan on the list, then that is correct. Um, but we're working on being able to provide funding to every country. So I don't have a date on that, but what I can say is we're trying our best to make it accessible to anybody living anywhere. Thank you, Inara. If you're coming or applying from or with credentials from a country that is currently uh, has been placed under sanctions by the governments here, then most likely you will not be able to study in this university if you want to come through passing. If things change in terms of the status of your country on the sanction list, uh, definitely that could happen for you, okay? So sorry about that, John Brown. Uh, Irem Im Im Imba. Irem Imba is asking, I have an h &D in business administration. Can I apply for hospitality? The answer is yes, you can apply 
so long as Aram, if you're from Nigeria, you need to meet a study gap requirement first, five years. So if you can meet, if you can demonstrate that your last date of completion of a formal education was within five, last five years, if you're from Nigeria, and you also have A1 to CSERS in your high school English and math, then you are good to go to apply. All right. So yes, you can apply. Uh, how did Christy? Mr. Choko, you uh, you have this refused to address your IT questions. Okay, so this this is a different one that has to do with something else. So, all right, let's see if somebody. Uh, Uche Chuku uh, Gaime, the study gap for Nigeria is a big blow to me. Is there hope for relaxing these conditions? For now, that is actually what the requirements are. You need to have a study gap requirement for the last five years. We took a bit of time to explain that if you're coming from Nigeria, India, Pakistan, all other countries that are eligible do not need a study gap, including Ghana, Togo, whatever countries you're from. So long as it's your country on the list, you don't need, except for Nigeria, India, and Pakistan. All right. Okay, guys, we've ca captured um, we've captured almost Muftao Abdullah. Uh, does FASA sponsor other institutions outside? No. For now, it's just George Brown. All right. So I think we've covered almost all the questions here so far. Mm. Uh, Abanga Abdul Karim Ibrahim, please. If I want to apply for the postgraduate diploma, but I am left with one more semester to finish my undergraduate studies, can I still apply? You want to? Go for it. Yeah, sure. So we are we're able to help students who are looking for fresh enrollments. We do get a lot of inquiries from students who are already pursuing some kind of program. Either they have started one semester or they just need the money for the last semester. Unfortunately, we're not able to help them yet. Um, at this point, we can help students who are looking for fresh new enrollments, either for September or Jan intake. Either for September or January intake. So yeah. somebody who is currently enrolled would need to complete, correct? Yeah, I mean, yeah. They have, if they're already enrolled, started their program, uh, we'll not be able to uh, fund them. Okay, so this questioner is not currently in Canada. Let's say they are in Ghana. Uh, they are doing a university program. They have a semester or so or a year to complete. But then they have a high school education transcript from WAG that meets the eligibility requirement of A1 to C6. Are they still able to apply for passage or you recommend that they finish their current studies before applying? I mean, if they are looking for a program, um, that that starts let's say in jan and if they're selecting a, a program which is a diploma program then they would need to use their y credentials mm -hmm. uh, in that case they can still apply of course but for jan intake let's say they're applying for postgraduate programs mm -hmm. that, they would need their bachelor's transcript as well as certificate so they should complete that that particular program that bachelor bachelor's program then apply for uh, whatever intake they want to apply for Okay, so uh, Abanga, if you're applying for a program that requires just a YEG, you can do that. But if it's a program that requires a postgraduate, for example, one or two of the programs you saw on the list that we shared today are postgraduate diploma, which require you to have a bachelor's. So if those are the programs you're going for, then you need to complete your current studies in order to be eligible. However, if you are going for any of the other programs like hospitality, for example, which requires no bachelor's, just your YEG, then you can just decide to use just your YAC results to apply to Passage, and Passage will take a good look at that for you, all right? So that is the answer there. All right, guys, thanks so much for being with us today. Really appreciate all those who dropped their questions. I really, really appreciate Terry Mensa Glover. Are community planners eligible? Well, this is not about your preview, your background per se. It's about meeting a number of requirements. Study gap requirement for Ghana, no study gap. So you are good to go. Um, you need to have those credentials, like th those grades from from uh, A1 to 6s, English and Math for comma. If the program you're choosing is just a diploma program. But if the program you're choosing is a postgraduate diploma, they need your bachelor's as well, all right? Some of the programs don't require you to have a specific career background or professional experience in a certain field. Some of them are pretty open. So just take a bit of time and read. They've made it pretty, pretty clear under the program specific requirements as well. So please take a bit of time, click on all of that. We will not be able to share all of them, those details in this video, 
but please click on the program and just read on that okay but i suspect you should be eligible to apply all right okay so thank you so much there ola di miji oriomi can someone who graduated from nigeria more than five years guys you are not listening you know me you know how i do my videos if you are not listening to my video i'm going to smash it right in your face all right We've spent a bit of time actually talking about this. For Nigeria to be specific, you need to have a five-year study gap. Please, 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 please don't send emails asking I have more than five years. They're not going to change it now. It's, it's, it's currently set to be specific. So I need you guys to actually pay attention. We, the reason why we're coming back doing this video is because some people are not paying attention. If you're really hoping to actually use this institution, you really have to pay attention. If you are from Nigeria, India, and Pakistan, your last studies or date of completion of a formal education ought to happen within the last five years. Anything more than that, you are not eligible, period. There's no way around it. It's not going to be changed because of you. If it changes, we'll be the ones to come back and update you on that. If you are from Ghana, any other country, aside from the countries we mentioned, you do not require a study gap. So don't come back and ask, oh, I completed my study in the last 10 years. I'm not going to respond to it. If you send it to pack, pass it, maybe they will. I will not. Right? Well, I was going to say the same thing. Go to FAQs. Look at the country-specific restrictions. We yeah. do not make exceptions. So please they, they don't make exceptions. know yeah. that I have seven years. We 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 don't make exceptions for these rules. So, they are not going to bend the rules for you. Yeah, please. Just want to be clear on that. Email. Yeah. And, and all the programs, if you open up, the, the web page you will see the requirements written there all the programs have all the specific requirements written on the page so if you just go through that you will, you will see yeah 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 so guys please the support at uh, passage.com email that we gave it's also not meant for you to spam with questions that have already been addressed here these guys are working so hard to process your student uh, loan ap applications and all of that make the job easier for them don't go and dump all your questions on them especially if the answers are readily available on their website steady gap requirements academic uh, credential requirement or grade requirement very key do your own part of the job when the videos are there go to the website and check if you don't have it don't stress it they will not bend the rules for you i just want to be clear on that all right if you meet the requirements please go ahead and apply using the link those of you who are already in canada having difficulty to get into your second year programs you don't have the money to study you have no excuse passage is here to help you out all right 25% is all you need to put down and then you'll be able to. But hey, if you are not able to use this and you have other opportunities out there, please take advantage of them as well. Passage is definitely here for those who really, really, really need this help to start as soon as September. If you want to go into programs such as what? Cybersecurity. You want to go into programs such as, let me just mention the programs again. And just to be clear, these are not the only programs that Passage is promoting or offering financing for, no. They have a lot of programs they are offering financing for, but specifically, if you want to start this September, which is just three, four weeks away, and you want to start your studies and you want to get a loan approval for programs such as dental office administration, for programs such as hospitality services program, for the uh, programs such as information systems business analysis program, and then a fourth one for programs such as wireless networking program, wireless networking program. Uh, and then for programs such as cyber security at George Brown College, Passage is ready to help you secure a seat. Even if you are not interested in the loan, use the link and Passage will help you finish the rest. Up. If you are interested in a loan to cover just your tuition, I have a friend who reached out and said, you know, Choco, I already have my living expenses. I need Passage to help me with the school fees or the tuition. Can they do that? Say, yes, they can do that. They can help you with the tuition, whichever way you want. They can help you with that. If you want them to help you with the living expenses, just put in the application as well. They will take a look at that. And remember, Inara mentioned, they can get you started as soon as possible. Just put in the application. In the next few days or so, you could potentially be on your way to start your pro program in September 2024. Final words from you, Pritish and Inara. No, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for the platform you have given us. Uh, super excited to help students. And uh, if you're from any part of the world, uh listening to this or watching this please uh check out passage and uh if if you are if you know someone who would uh, use this platform please refer uh them as well and if you are looking to take advantage of this platform then uh, register go through the programs and just uh, apply thank all you. right thank thank you very much which is um inara yes, i sir. september is three weeks away 
So if you are trying to figure out how to go to school, if you don't have enough money, how to pay off the funds, now's your chance. Um, we are processing applications immediately and there's not many spots. So if this sounds like you, if you have the requirements, if this is what you want to do, apply today, submit your application and we'll work our fastest to get you that spot and that funding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Felix Ibrahim, you brought in this question just when we we're wrapping up, but let me sneak that one in there. Sir, I applied last Friday for personal support worker program for January 2025 intake. Can I change my year intake uh, to September 2024? So this person is saying that they already put an application through passage, I guess, uh, for January 2025 intake for PSW. Are they able to make a switch and rather move it to uh, September 2024? Um, is that possible? They can apply for September 2024, but PA, not for PSW program specifically, because for PSW program, September 2024 intake, the seats are at capacity. So the seats are full, but they can choose another program and we draw the original application and apply for the new program for fall intake. Beautiful. Yes. Felicity Brown, so you can make the switch so long as you're going for another program, which we mentioned here for uh, September 2024, all right? But if it's PSW, you cannot, it's already full. You cannot get into September 2024, all right? Guys, thanks so much for being with me. I appreciate your time. See you on the other side. And remember, when you sign up and Passage helps you, come back and let us know that you actually got your loan approval and all of that so that others can know that passage is real and they're helping many of you out there thanks for being with us have a good day bye-bye amazing thanks so Thank much you. bye